All right, she sold this Scream Ghostface mask, Fun World Division, Gen 2, Poly Vintage, Hard to Find, Droopy Eyes. She uh, got this at a yard sale for $2, took a best offer of four. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about some big money bolos or unexpected bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, these items were purchased and picked up and sold on eBay by my featured members. That means they have joined Bolo Buddies memberships to be in featured to be featured in videos just like this. There is a join button down here if you're interested. Level two gets you in the video. And if not, no worries, just keep coming back to watch to learn. Um, if you don't see that join button, there's also a link down in the description if you would like to know more. All right, we are gonna get started here. All of these channels and their eBay stores are linked down in the description of the video. We are gonna start here with the Funky Pickle Thrifter. And I'm gonna tell you, she is fantastic amazing, unbelievable bolo finder. And she specializes in jewelry. Jewelry. So if you want to learn about jewelry, definitely go and sub her up. But she knows a lot of a, a lot about a lot of things. So this is her YouTube channel. And we are going to go into her first bolo item. It is this Barbie. It's peaches and creams. I don't know if you guys remember this doll, but this was definitely from when I was a kid, I believe that I had her, um, which is just totally fantastic. You know, you get that nostalgic feeling of, oh my goodness, I had that doll. Um, I want to buy it. And that's why these things sell for more. She got this for a buck or two and it sold for a best offer of $125. And you can see the box does have some condition issues. So um, if the box was in mint condition, she probably could have got more. But look here at the retail price of $10.99. The next item is this antique Danish butterfly silver brooch signed Jensen and Ackerland cat's eye J and A. Okay, so you can tell that this is a really, really old pin. Look how far this sticks out here on the side. That's incredible. But 8305 is what it says. And she said it was marked 830 instead of 925 and she knows her jewelry so she knew that this was good and she ended up selling this for $99.99 and she got it from a pawn shop and I don't know what she paid for it sorry I didn't mark that down I thought she told me but I know she got it cheap the next item um oh I'm sorry she said um the 830 is a Scandinavian mark for silver. So, oh, and she paid a dollar or two. I did write it down. I thought I did. A dollar or two, the guy did not know that it was silver. Okay, so this next one is a hummingbird door knocker, camp cabin decor by SPI. She got this at a yard sale for $2 each, and she sent me the information, and I want to say she took a best offer of 80, I think. Um, I forgot to come back and write it down, but I did ask her and I forget what she wrote. So I apologize for that. Uh, the next item here comes from Electric Garage Sale. And you guys, what he does is he does estate cleanouts and he has been putting together junk drawer lots. So definitely go down and follow his eBay store by clicking on the heart once you click on his link. And um, that will alert you when he posts new items. But the junk drawer lots might be something fantastic for you to um, purchase and resell. And he has an, a sample lot. Uh, there was one in the last video I did, but he did another one. So this is a carburetor. And wow, uh, I would walk right past this. My husband might pick it up. But this came from an estate clean out. And all he had was labor. And he took a best offer of $300 for this. And I shouldn't say all he had was labor because a lot of times cleaning out an estate is a lot of work and time. 
This here is a vintage Triumph Sissy Bar Eagle Wings 1970s Bonneville Tiger Triumph motorcycle. He got this from an estate sale, same thing, estate clean out, and he took a best, or I'm sorry, he sold it for $149.95. So here is a sample of a junk lot that he put together, and I just think his display is fantastic. It's jewelry, military photos, buttons, trinkets, military, and more. You guys, this got one bid at $70, $79.95, and I just want to zoom in here and show you some of the fantastic items that are in this lot. Definitely, I see profit like crazy in here, but um, again, there's also a lot of items I don't know much about, but look how many items are there. Let's say you sold each one for 10 bucks. I mean, right there is a huge profit. And you know, a lot of these items are worth more than $10. These old vintage patches, just an incredible lot. So again, make sure you are following his store um, for more items like this. I almost want to purchase something from him and do a video. How fun would that be? I would definitely get an education from listing all of those different items that I know nothing about. So really enjoy doing. Uh, boxes like this. That's why I like buying from Donatella Bottolino and auctions for you, their YouTube channels, because I get stuff I don't know about and it teaches me. And then when I unbox it and show you guys how I list thing, things, it helps you guys learn as well. So um, let's go in and see if he has anything listed currently. Uh, by the time this post, it will probably already be sold, but I just want to look. And it does not look like he has anything currently. So we will be watching for more items. So I'm going to click that heart and I'm going to be watching for a junk drawer lot. All right. Three ducks resale. Another awesome eBay store. No YouTube channel, but really, really cool items as you can see here. And the first item is this Ray Dunn birdhouse. And these birdhouses can do pretty well. This one came from the Goodwill. She paid $5 for it and sold it for $152.50. And let me show you the bottom here. So this, I believe, is one of the older ones, but don't quote me on that. I'm not a Ray Dunn expert. So 2015, so older. Yeah. $152.50 on auction. This is a Bandai Tamagotchi White on Magic Virtual Pet from 2018. If you don't know about these, some of these go for crazy money. Um, and some of them are bread and butter. But this one sold for $132.50 on auction. She said it was her kids from about five years ago. The next item is this Build-A-Bear and it is a dinosaur stegosaurus with baby plush and it only sold for $22 plus shipping. But here's what she wanted us to know. She said it sold in one day and after it sold, someone offered her $30 just for the baby. So um, definitely a learning experience. I mean, we all do this. We all make mistakes. Um, we sometimes list things too low. So I wanted to share this one with you guys because this little baby apparently can go for $30. So that's pretty darn good. The next item comes from It's All Goods 1994. And I'm sorry, 94. It's All Goods 94. She is also over on Whatnot. So make sure you're following her over there as well. Uh, these are some of her current listings. Uh, she does not have a store, but the link I post down below will take you into this format and you can check out the other items she has listed. She sold this uh, Santa and it's an old German man ornament by Radco, beer mug, German flag, see details and pictures. Um, this guy right here is, he's got some issues. He is, let me see where I put my notes, missing a leg. So you can see right here, his leg is missing. She got him at a garage sale for a buck. And even with the missing leg, it sold for $105. And the box right here, it says a dollar on it. So, all right. The next item is this ghost. It's a 2010 Bony Bunch Ghost Rider Yankee Candle Headless Horseman. She got this at the Goodwill for $7. It took two weeks to sell and it sold for $169.99 plus shipping. The next item 
are um, these Circle Jerks uh, cassette tapes. We'll just say cassette tapes. Um, hold on, I'm marking my little sheet here. And these sold for a hundred dollars. I'm sorry, she got ten dollars for a box of hundred of a hundred at a garage sale, and she sold these for seventy five dollars and ninety nine cents plus shipping. The next item comes from Leo's Treasures, and here is her store. So definitely go and check her out. You got a little Halloween item right here, a craft patch. Oh, look at the little Boyd's bear. Wonder how big that one is. Some of the minis can go for big money. So I'm wondering what size that is. Um, someone will scoop that one up if it's a mini. She's got lots of cute ones. All right. Leo's Treasures. And she sold these. Whoops. Sorry. Here we go. These earrings, they are vintage Les Bernard door knocker clip on earrings, non pierced, signed, rare and hard to find. She got these at an estate sale for $3 and took a best offer of $50. And she's got her little tape measure there. And that is where they are signed. The next item is this Alice in Wonderland teapot, Paul Cardell, Cardu, Cardu. 150th anniversary edition, four cup teapot. She got this at a garage sale for $4 and sold it for $56.75. The next item are these Allen Edmond shoes. They are size 10 and leather buckle monk strap loafers. She got these at the Goodwill bins for approximately $4 and sold these for a best offer of $52. The next item here comes from Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger, and she has an awesome YouTube channel. She has tons and tons of knowledge that she drops on this channel. Um, she does uh, what I call category videos where she uh, talks about it. She says, let's talk about it. And she picks a category and she does a live show. So definitely check that out. That is on Thursday. All right, she sold this Scream Ghost Face Mask Fun World Division Gen 2 Poly Vintage Hard to Find Droopy Eyes. She uh, got this at a yard sale for $2, took a best offer of $425. I do have a This Is My Bolo video coming up, and she's going to tell us more about how she listed this and how she got the information to know how to price it. So stay tuned for that. And. She sold this Chillmark Fine Pewter Sculpture, Summit 1988. It is a limited edition. She got this for $1 and she sold it for $199.99 plus shipping. The next item she sold is this Walt Disney Aladdin Princess Jasmine Glass and Wood Oval Mirror. She got this for free and sold it for $139.99 plus shipping. The next item here is this Trader's Trader Joe's reusable bag. And she does have a video. Um, it's a let's talk about it video on selling reusable bags. It's incredible what some of these go for. Um, it, it's yeah, it's who would have thought, you know, it's one of those things that I never would have thought of. So she is good at bringing you items that are unexpected. She ended up selling this for $29.99 plus shipping. All right. The next items come from Donatella Bottolino and she sells to resellers. So she wholesale selling wholesale lots to the reseller, storage locker and estate buying. She has so many resources where she gets so many amazing things. Now, her eBay store, there is not much to choose from right now because she only lists a few things here and there to keep her eBay store active. So um, I can also show some of her featured sales on this channel when I do the video. So she has to list a little bit each month. This is an Hermes scarf, and she ended up selling this for $150.11. So again, all of her items are picked up in bulk so that she can resell the items to resellers. So not sure what her cost of goods were. She probably bought it in a wholesale lot from someone else. This here is a um, Build-A-Bear. And this is the pumpkin. And this is the bear. There's also a cat. The cat goes for a little more, more. But if you find the pumpkin pattern, definitely pick it up. These were majorly trending a year or two ago. Um, 
Farm Girl Scavenger Noel sold a cat for, I think, in the $300 range. Uh, they are not trending like they were. There was a TikTok video that went viral that really brought up the value of these items during that time frame. But they are still a big money bolo. This one sold for 50 The cat sells more in the $100 range. Last time I looked, it may be down a little or it may be up a little. Not sure. Halloween is coming. But definitely be on the lookout. The next item is this paperweight. It's a 1991 signed Ecolt. Uh, art glass paperweight. She got this again in one of her bulk buys, sold it on auction for $55 free shipping. The next item comes from The Quiet Thrifter. Oh, and back to Donna. If you guys are looking for inventory, I've been buying off of her probably for close to three years, if not longer. And I have always been happy with my stuff. I have lots of unboxing videos on this channel if you want to see some of the items that I've purchased from her. Okay, this one comes from The Quiet Thrifter, and I recently um, featured her eBay store because she is a bolo finder, and she picks up things that I would walk past. So definitely check out that video. Um, you should be able to type in Bolo Buddies The Quiet Thrifter into the YouTube search, and it will pull that up if you want to see some of her big money bolo items that I walk past. All right. She sold this antique 1928 primitive folk art Minnesota farmland oil painting. And she got this in a box, um, a $10 box. So she had about a dollar in this at a garage sale. It's from the 1920s. And she took a best offer of 115 on this. She got this one from the same lot. And this one sold for $107 in less than two weeks. And the next item is this hard to find Department 56 American Pride Collection 4th of July lighted house. And this one, she got at a garage sale for 10 and took a best offer of $200 plus shipping. All right, we've got Abigail's Artful Abode. Definitely check out her YouTube channel. She is just so elegant and calming. You will love her voice and her channel and everything that she brings to it. Um, she's got thrift with me's, but she also like down here, she redid these chairs and it is incredible. Definitely go check out that video. She turned these chairs into, it's just amazing. I mean, she is crafty. It is very, very cool. So sub her up down below. She is a newer member and she is, um, also on eBay and what I wanted to show you was her pictures. And these really remind me of pictures that you would see on Etsy. But, you know, everybody pushes for a white background. But she just has a gift for setting up beautiful photographs. And she's got the white background on some of them. But I just kind of wanted to showcase some of her photos because I just think they are art. I think, I mean, look at this. I just love it. I know that the background distracts and probably is not going to pick the image up on Google Lens um, as easily, but the pictures are just beautiful. So sub her up and check out her eBay store. Okay, she sold this 1940s vintage large peacock sequined beaded brooch, and she paid two or three bucks for this, and she sold it for $50. The next item is this ram. It is a vintage, um, I don't know what that word is. We're just going to say decorated copper and brass reclining ram, but it's an incense burner. And she ended up getting this at an antique mall for $35. It took three months to sell and she sold it for $235 plus shipping. The next item is this pitcher and it is a vintage hexagon art deco modern silver plated water drinks pitcher geometric design. This sold on auction for $282, and she said it sat in her money pile for a very long time, and she pried about $5 in it, and the buyer paid shipping on that. These boots, I mean, look at the background. I mean, I love the staging. She also has one with just the pure white background, but I just think she does an excellent job. These are vintage 70s uh, Simbica, S-I-B-I-C-C-A, platform knee-high boots, and she got these at an estate sale in a bulk buy, and she took a best offer of $225 for those. The next item comes from The Rebel Reseller, and she is over 5,000 subscribers now. Her channel is growing like a weed, 
for good reason. She is fantastic. Um, super educational videos, specializes in plush, but sells tons and tons of stuff. So definitely check out her channel. Um, she sold this mansion. It's a Pacific Rim haunted house man mansion. She got it at a yard sale for three bucks and sold it for $83.65. And let me see here. This is what it looks like on the bottom. So I'm not familiar with that brand. This one is an Eden Aunt Lucy Paddington Bear plush with rattle ba baby bear stuffed animal. She got this at the Goodwill Benz and she sold this for $63 plus shipping. The next item is this Dakin, Dakin Tan Bear plush magnet peekaboo hands from 1993. It's a vintage stuffed animal toy. And she sold this for $49.95 plus shipping. And she picked this up for $2. And she is currently doing videos over on her channel where she teaches you about categories of plush. So she will pick a brand and do a deep dive research video for you guys on that brand. So if you're looking to learn more about plush and which ones sell for big money, definitely sub her up. The next one comes from Auctions for You. And she also sells to resellers. Um, she has auctions on her channel. Fantastic place to buy. I have lots of videos where I have purchased from her. I recently bought a $150 box. I'm listing the items now. So as soon as I get those items listed and I can make it educational and pop up screenshots for you guys, that will be coming soon on my channel. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you have not already. And again, she buys things wholesale in bulk and she picked up this Hasbro Star Wars, the Clone Wars Republic attack shuttle vehicle action figure and sold it for $199.99 plus shipping. She also recently picked up a huge lot of dolls, just an amazing haul. Um, my twin 23 inch posable doll. And this one sold for $199.99. And she also sold this one. Um, it's another My Twin for $249.99 plus shipping. And I know she has been selling tons of these dolls over on her YouTube channel. They are incredible. Um, so many people are taking pictures and using them for their little YouTube uh, channel picture because people are buying them to keep because I can't remember what they're called but it's some special doll and they're like really big and they're beautiful. They're fantastic. But anyway, check out auctions for you and check out everyone that I shared in this video. They are linked down in the description, eBay stores, YouTube channel, if they have one. Thank you all so much for being here. If you would like to join memberships, there is a join button right here. If you don't see it, there's also a link down in the description of the video. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.